Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. I'm just making a purging video for you. So I was carrying out a purge and I've got seven steps here to follow. And I have got the calculations here. Try for yourself. And also if you need a tightness test sheet, let me know and I'll get one over to you. My email is commercialgasengineer at mel.com. So follow the calculations. I'm going to show you the purge sheet now. Before I do this, watch out for a common error that can take place. This happened to me recently. So when you're working out your purge volume, be careful and make sure that you hit the equals button before you type times 1.5. Otherwise you'll end up with an incorrect answer here. So this is the distance we're dealing with. This is the pipe work, the three meters, the 25 meters, the 20 meters and the 25 meters. So here's the working out, A to B, 30 meters of 125 millimeters, B to C, 25 meters of 100 millimeters, C to D, 20 meters of 65 millimeters, and D to E, 25 meters of 40 millimeter pipe work. And I have times my 25 by my 0 0.005 and got my answer here. And then when I'm finished that with each of the sections, I add them up and then I will come up with my answer down here my IVP and then remember there are different ways that you can get your 10%. You remember that you need to look into your book and find the largest diameter size of pipe for your purge and then that's how you get your minimum purge gas flow rate. Remember to also purge to the right time when you're purging from gas to air, not only air to gas. So make sure that you've got the right flow rate otherwise you can get stratification, air pockets in your pipe People are tending to use nitrogen more these days to purge because it's inert and a safer method. So here's the working out using my worksheet. In another video, I showed you some purge equipment if you haven't seen it. And this is where you connect your Gasco seeker. This here is where you make adjustments to your flow rate. This is your Gasco seeker. And remember, when you're purging to gas, you need to have 90% of gas before your purge is complete. And when you're purging to air, you need to have 1.8% of gas in air for your purge to be safe on the air side when you want the installation to be full with air and gas out of the equation. This here is a purge meter and you'd use this to identify that you have reached your purge volume. Remember, whilst you're carrying out your purge, there's a few things you have to keep your eye on. You need to keep an eye on your time. At the same time, you need to keep an eye on your flow meter. You want to keep an eye on your Gasco seeker. You want to keep an eye on your purge volume. So you want to keep your eye on, on a few things in your purge. And this is our compressor here when we're purging from gas to air. Step one, purge volume of pipework, IVP plus IVF times 1.5 gives you your PVP. Here's the calculations, 0.758 plus IVF 0 0.0758 times 1.5. Remember to hit the equal button before you times 1.5. I will change that in the notes in the description and in the comments. When you get to your meter cyclic volume, you got your U65 meter. You have to look in your book to find this 0.100. You should see it in a chart. You bring that down to stage three and then you get your purge volume of meter, your meter cyclic volume times five. So that's P to give you your PVM. So that's 0.100 that we got from here. And we times that by five and that gives us 0.5. Then we move on to stage four. Now we need purge volume of equipment, PVE. For example, if your purge hose is 20 meters long and it's 25 millimeters in diameter, the bore, you get 20 times. And then I've got this value here from my chart just from the similar to the tightness test chart of getting your volume. So you've got your volume and then you times that by 1.5 and then you'll get 0 0.028. Then moving on now that we've got our answer, we need our total purge volume. And then that's PVP plus PVM plus PVE that gives us our PVT, our total purge volume. So here it is. PVP 1.2507 plus PVE, which is 0 0.028 plus PVM, which is 0 0.5 equals 1.7787. Minimum purge flow rate now. So we have to see the chart in the book 
I showed you a picture earlier of where I got that from and that shows me my purge flow rate. And then I get my maximum purge time now, my PVT, I times that by 3,600 and then I divide that by the 30 of my flow rate and that gives me 213.4 seconds. I can divide that in order to get my minutes. The key things that we've learned from here in this equation is five, six and seven, these. And here they are, purge volume, flow rate and our seconds. These are key when we're carrying out our purge. We need these details. Okay, I hope this has helped. If you've got any questions, please leave them in a the comment below. You can send me an email for a worksheet. Until next time, bye-bye-bye.